everyone, Morgan here. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make your own five gallon to go food bucket. So they make uh, food buckets that are already ready to go, freeze dried meals. This is by ReadyWise. And what's really great about these is the fact that they are already in a bucket. You can grab and go at your leisure, right? But you know, a lot of people maybe can't afford this or I don't know, whatever your reason is. I think that these are really great options for grab and go. Something that you're gonna have to consider no matter what options we're talking about is additional things like uh, utensils, water, um, you know, other drink items, coffee, you know, whatever else you might want. But water specifically, water, utensils, potentially plates, like I might be splitting a meal with me and my children, you know, or like me and my husband might split a meal or something like that. So utensils, plates, things like that, and those all can go in here as well. Uh, you can open this up and then put those in there as well. Probably not the water, right? But the utensils and plates and napkins can, can definitely uh, go in here. There's a little bit of room, you can probably squish it in there. All right, outside of that, how do you make your own to-go bucket? There are several options that we can consider here. What's nice about making your own bucket is that you can put whatever food you want in it. And some of the ideas here would be things like ready-made um, packets like this, like tuna packets, spam packets, um, any of these type of packets that are you just rip open and eat directly from the packets. Ready-to-go foods like other you know, protein bars, things like that that you don't have to cook. You don't even have to add water to it. Those types of meals are going to be a a real help, especially in an emergency disaster situation. If you are grabbing this bucket already and leaving, it's probably for some sort of emergency, right? You're grabbing the bucket, placing it in your vehicle and going. Now, there's also canned goods. Of course, canned goods, um, you can just eat straight out of the can. Many things might not to be as appetizing straight out of the can, like soups and things like that. <laughs> I have eaten soups directly out of the can though, and let me tell you, not half bad, okay? <laughs> but you don't have to heat up food from a can. You can just open and eat it. However, the main downside of cans, especially in a, a large system like this, is gonna be the weight. Even if you are just carrying it to a vehicle, it's gonna be pretty heavy, you know? What you may want to do is do a mix of like, oh, excuse me, uh, canned foods and some ready foods so that it's not so heavy, but it's, it's, it's a good mix of things that you could eat straight out of the can and then some more lighter weight, you know, packages, things like that. Um, you know, protein bars. Keep it in mind with that system of the ready to eat, the canned foods, a mix of, etc. you will have to rotate this pretty often. An easy way that I would find to rotate this is to simply like go out on a picnic. Like if this is gonna be maybe a 72 hour kit or maybe even just like a one or two day kit, depending on how much food you could fit into one five gallon bucket for you and your family and your, your personal needs, um, I want you to calculate that out. So let's say that each family member eats, you know, three of these, you know, one, one each. So you, and you want to do, you know, three days. So you would have nine of these packets in here, drop it in, right? Let's say you want to take, I don't know, this canned shrimp and you want one, um, per meal. Let's say that like you will all eat one can per meal. So you'll put three of these in, right? So you'll put three of those in. So then you'll put some protein bars and some other things. So of course, something else that you can do is put either freeze dried foods or dehydrated foods in here. This is nice and lightweight. You know, this bucket, you can, you can fit a lot of these meals into these buckets. Now this is, that's gonna be two meals right there. And as you can see, it's barely taken up any space. And so you can fit quite a lot of these, um, these just add water dehyd dehydrated and freeze dried meals. You could make your own dehydrated meals, or if you have a freeze dryer, you can make your own freeze dried meals, right? So you can make your own meals. One thing about this is that you will need that extra water. You have to have that extra water. Account for the water. How much water is this going to take? And then calculate how much you're going to need. Are you going to need two gallons of water, three, four, five? How much water are you going to need in order to? Um, you know, rehydrate these and eat them. 
It is true that you do not need water in order to eat these, but you will become severely dehydrated if you don't have it. And plus, I mean, obviously it's gonna taste better once it's rehydrated, right? And you also don't need to heat these up in order to rehydrate. You simply can put the water in and then let it rehydrate, but it will take two or three times as long, depending on what the food is, two or three times as long to rehydrate. So that's something to keep in mind as well. If you are gonna keep that, you need the extra water plus some way to heat the water in order to um, cook it a little faster if that's what you want. So, so some sort of cook set in here as well. I would not suggest putting the water in with this. I would suggest simply having gallons of water next to it that, is, that are designated. This is just for food water. And then you have even more additional drinking water next to it. And then there's MREs. MREs are always a solid choice, <laughs> okay? Because they are meals ready to eat, right? They're meals ready to eat. You can just open these up. They have heaters inside. They're just like a complete package, right? Um, I love having MREs around. Your family may not like MREs though, so make sure that you and your family are very aware of what MREs are. Try them out first before you ever consider, you know, putting them in an emergency bucket like this or any emergency food system or anything like that. Whether it's at home for camping, emergencies, whatever. No matter what food we're talking about, make sure that you're eating it and make sure your family is aware of it and, and likes it, right? In addition to buying military um, MREs, you can also make your own homemade MREs. I have videos um, that I have done homemade um, MREs and I'm going to be doing another version of the homemade MRE. I love the homemade MRE. It's a homemade meal ready to eat and I love that you can just add like whatever you want with it. It's so cool. So, and, uh, but you know, you'd be adding ready to eat foods like this, but just in like a, you know, in a Ziploc and MRE form so that you can just make it and put it in there. But it's stuff that your family likes to eat. So we're going back to the ready to eat foods, but you're just putting it in like a meal ready to eat. So you'd grab the Ziploc of all that food, you know, that would be one or two or three meals, however much it is. And so you stay a little bit organized. Again, depending on your family size or like how many days you want this bucket to last or how many days it could last, depending on how much food you want to put in, really calculate it out. Say this is going to be for breakfast, this is going to be for lunch, this is going to be for dinner. And make sure you have those designated meals before you start putting them in here. And then once you put them in, you can figure out how it can be configured and how many days you can fit inside one bucket for you and your family. So play around with it. You know, I think there are some really good, fun ideas here. Um, I would recommend getting a gamma lid for this instead of the um, lid that you kind of got a hammer on, then you need the special, you know, um, five gallon lid tool to get it open, simply for ease, right? You don't need that tool as well to open it up and access the food. You just have that nice twist on and off gamma lid to where it's just easily accessible, right? And this uh, should be pretty critter proof. I've never known five gallon buckets to be eaten through, but that's on you, right? Be sure to put some traps or, or whatever you want around it. <laughs> Make sure that this bucket is along with your bug out bag and anything else you're gonna be taking with you if you ever have to leave your home in an emergency situation. It's easily accessible. Anybody can grab and go with it. And you're rotating it out every six to 12 months, depending on the food that's inside. If it's freeze dried food, of course, it'll last longer. Dehydrated foods, maybe a year or two. MREs, you know, a couple years canned goods several years and then these ready to eat foods you know like protein bars and these kinds of packets of tuna and things they really should be rotated every six to 12 months or so just for like optimal freshness you know what i mean like these can definitely last um maybe a year or two more but uh try to rotate stuff out so you're getting the freshest best food possible and you're not running into any sort of surprises like oh that went bad i had no idea you know when you're opening it up five years later <laughs> um all right thank you all so much for watching i would love to hear your ideas on what you would add to your to go five gallon food bucket conquer tomorrow by preparing today i will talk to you all later Bye bye